season wrap up video. I'm down here working in the cabin today and uh, kind of wanted to give you guys a few heads up on a few things. Uh, I got my fur sold out and I'm going to give you a few of those numbers. Uh, what what our averages were or what my averages were over here. And I'm working on a one of these, another one of these. I've got several that I've done here uh, already. We've got the, we've been done trapping for about a week and a half or so, and uh, I just have been super busy getting everything ready. I did get this. This is one of the coyotes that uh, in one of the videos, uh, Cody went ahead and mounted him for me. He's not done on the board yet but on the final thing he's going to be in a trail but anyways that's kind of cool uh, a few of the beavers there's a little bear that cody did um anyways well oh and then here so i put my trap orders in got a couple dozen more new traps these are my duke number twos square jaw Offset four coil. Uh, I got two more dozen coming uh, next week. So, anyways, I wanted to kind of give you a heads up on my fur prices. Uh, I sold my stuff here probably two weeks ago. I kept back quite a few uh, animals to tan. Uh, let me think. So, my top coyotes, um, I had a lot that sold. And those coyotes average for $58 a piece. And then I had some that went for, you know, that was kind of my highest average lot. I had a lot that went for $48 a piece all the way down to $24. So, uh, and all the, you know, uh, $58, $48, $24, 24 I did have a lot that averaged $27. 24 those were my cold out coyotes so where i trap here i trap in two different areas one's kind of more of a high desert we got some elevation to us and we end up with some pretty good coyotes and then the other place is uh kind of low elevation you know three to four thousand feet and the coyotes are a complete different bunch you know they we get uh obviously we get almost half price for those coyotes not quite half price but well, I guess that would be half price yeah uh, or less than half price for some of these lower land coyotes down here anyways uh, bobcats uh, let me get my phone here because uh, my bobcats didn't do near as good I don't know if anybody else's did I didn't see any sale averages I'm looking on my phone here so I had one cat that sold for 384 one that sold for 318 uh, 267 210 and 151 so I, I need to find out what that sale average was to see kind of where just pretty low numbers on the cats this year or at least in our area Oregon Idaho area so um, beaver caster I sold mine for $72 a pound, and I thought that was a little bit low compared to what other numbers I've been hearing uh, guys getting. So, but I, I sold them either way. So, anyways, so in this video today, I'm going to show uh, Dad and I had partnered up on a trap line, and uh, uh, I'm going to show a few clips of that. He ended up with his first bobcat in a trap and uh his first couple coyotes in a trap so uh he's a he snares coyotes and bobcats and he's done that for years he's very efficient at that but he kind of wanted to try his hand at trapping so uh i got kind of a couple of videos of that trap line and then kind of a wrap up videos uh the weather kind of warmed up and the coyotes got no good around down in the bottom here so we were up in the high country and uh it warmed up up there so 
the badger started coming out we ended up getting one of them out of there and then i just had to kind of hang it up for the year and get going on some other stuff so uh plus the first sale was was coming so i had to get ready for that anyways i think that's about it uh, i'm gonna try maybe to put on a few videos this spring of of tanning i do a lot of fur tanning so if you guys like that you can check that out uh other than that probably gonna see if i can put out some maybe throughout the year trapping tips that we could do you know in the off season something that just keeps us chomping at the bit waiting for fall to come so anyways i think that's about it i'll show you these videos and that'll be it well <laughs> first bobcat in the trap looks like a good size one too looks like a female from the size of the head oh yeah and probably about a 18 pounder yeah uh pat deep going nowhere is he? Huh? Not going anywhere is no, he? No, no. Pretty well hung up. Doesn't know what to do to, to make it work but Up in the tree and didn't tear up the set itself. Hey, bud. That looks like a big furry one. It does. Look how pale like he big, is. Looks like a big male, Jeremy. Yeah, that's a pretty. Look at his head. That's a pretty coyote. Look how fluffy he is. My word. Yeah. Okay, we pulled up here. We had us a T-bone set right here under the tree to walk through T-bone. And our trap's gone. So before we even seen the trap was gone, Dad had seen that this ground was all tore up. This brush is tore up. And he got through over here. Dad found him over on the other side. Here's a coyote. He's on a drag. He's hung up in that sagebrush right there. He's going to hide from us. Sure he's yeah there's a drag hook right there looks like a little coyote hook right in the mess there I'm gonna go around and take care of him well we got this one on the head and He's caught pad deep in that trap. His foot's in pretty bad shape. All the fighting he's been doing. But we got the chain going back over. One piece of brush held him, huh? He wasn't going too far, I don't think. Anyways, but here's your drag. That's what the drag, it's not even hooked on anything. It's just underneath the stick. On the branch of that sagebrush so another dead one that's a dad got one earlier today and a bobcat earlier today so that makes two for the day and one cat up here that's not too bad with this kind of weather we did have three sets across here and this is an old bone pile or not old they're 
six or eight dead cows in there, so. Well, we're checking some snares. We got some in between on the river here. Well, we've already caught a couple in here, coyotes. And looks like we may have another one, yep. So uh, we've had such a hard time with uh, the snow the last couple of weeks, probably three to four weeks. We've had nothing but snow and uh, get a couple inches of snow. You can see the bite circle from that other one right there. Right there. There's this one. Uh, anyways, we've had such a hard time with the snow. We haven't been our traps have slowed way down and our snares are still producing but I got a couple more to check right in here real quick in. Got one right in that trail we already caught one coyote in that we got one more snare up here it's in this trail usually and there's nothing in that one right up in there Usually we get a pair this time of year, so uh, we're going to have to find another spot to set this snare because there's basically three trails that run through and they run the river, so uh, it was my second choice. Looked like it did alright. This is one of those stakes here that uh, I've been using, I've been having good luck with, so... Got a nice big coyote. My stake with the support wire. All right. Finally, these duck unders are starting to pay up. Oh, that's a nice big coyote. Cotton or duck under. This one is the more than one. There's the duck under right there we set. We're up at this big pivot field. Uh, nice big coyote. We'll keep. Uh, we got one more to hit our record. So uh, hopefully that's today. We've got this check and we've got one last check after today. So. Here's our coyote. Nice, good sized male. Probably uh, high 20s, mid to high 20 pounds. So we're going to carry on down. All right, Cooley, you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Come on, Jack. Much more to go. Oh, scoot, scoot over. Scoot over. Well, we're, we know it's warming up out, kind of towards the end of winter. Uh, we know it's warming up when we get one of these right here. So, all I can smell is badger. Now, all I can see is badger. Oh, he's alive, Dad. Oh, yeah. Here's, here's the thing is he's got that stake right there so he's completely undermined that whole thing he's got it tunneled underneath there so uh, we're gonna see if we can get him pulled out and plug him looks like a little badger but uh, we are taking out all the badgers on this property that was a special request he's seen six of them down in this meadow last spring so he'd like them all out of here uh, anyways Take a look at him. Okay, I'm trying to shelter you from the wind. I know it's windy. So we fished him out of there. We got him shot. Uh, Reese, come over here and hold this camera for me. I'm going to show you guys how. Look at her. She just sunk in that dirt because this is all under mine. He dug all the way around that stake there. And he 
he was free, he would have just quit digging. dirt hole. That's a really good thing to catch badgers in. But uh, got the Duke number two, square jaw. This is a little tiny badger. He ain't very big at all. But we're going to take him home. We can these and keep these, so we'll go from there. Well, guys, we're doing our end of the year video. We're actually getting Hi. ready. We've got Jack. Check this out. He's in short pants. This is the 4th of March, so uh, we are having a, like a 50 degree day today. So. Anyways, uh, just doing an end of the year video. Coyotes, we've got part of the bobcats up there. We've got another two in the ranger. So uh, in this picture, we've got 49 going to the sale. We've actually uh, caught a little more than that, so we're, we're almost done with our trapping by... In the next week, we'll be done. So, 